All right, hello, hello, hello to all of the Cancers out there, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Welcome to Visions of Light and Love. Happy birthday, if your birthday falls on today or sometime during this week. If you are a returning viewer, welcome back. If this is your first time popping by, welcome, welcome, welcome. And if the reading does not resonate with your situation, check out your Moon, Venus, and Rising Sign video. Cross watchers are welcome as well for a personal private reading. The links will be posted in the description box below this video. All right. Let's see. So the number 37, 42 could be significant to you. 26. We have grace at the bottom of the deck. The frequency of grace supports our smooth adaptation to an anticipating of life's current currents and changes as we evolve towards a higher version of ourselves on this earthly plane, bridging the divine with the with the human essence. All right. So some of you may be just basically showing grace at this time for where you are. Um, you have soul coming out next. So the energy of soul activates our connection to the part of us that is closer to our highest or higher realms, God and the divine. Transformation. Some of you are definitely going through a transformation at this time. Um, transformation supports the ability to gracefully flow through times of transition, allowing the old to make room for the new. So some of you are... You may be coming out of the old or doing away with the old and to, to make room for the new, okay? And then we have intimacy. The, inti the energy of intimacy supports us trusting that we are safe to allow closeness. So some of you may be, some of you may be doing away with the old love and you have new love coming in. There's a new connection surrounding you. All right, let me know in the comment section below if you have a new connection surrounding you. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up image for me, please. It helps the video circulate. Or if you just want to show some support to the channel, I need everyone to hit that thumbs up image. All right, answers. Let's see. Okay. My cards are upside down. Okay, could be dealing with the Pisces, could be dealing with an Aquarius, a Leo, a Scorpio, specifically a Leo. We have Leo's energy here twice. Sagittarius energy is here. Gemini, here you are. Could be dealing with someone with the initials of J or B. Oh yeah, you have, let me see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven major arcanas here. Okay, so the universe is definitely making change in your life at this time. And if it has not happened, it will be. <clears throat> I see you, I see forward movement. You're thinking about moving on from something that is just not, it's keeping you stuck. It, it could be causing you to lose money. I feel like you're waiting for the right time to walk away from something or someone from what I'm seeing. You may be worried that if you walk away from this person, th there will be some type of financial hardship or financial lack. But I'm definitely seeing you walking away from someone or something that is just like something here is a stalemate. It's not really moving forward. I see. Why is the wheel of fortune and the hangman here? Sabotage, guilt. Lack. Yeah, see, something here. This could be finances. Like, something here in this union is lacking. This is definitely like some type of relationship that is like a stalemate union. Okay, and you know you may be feeling guilty about what's going on. Someone here is self-sabotaging this union. They're not really showing their emotions, not showing what they really want. 
but I feel like because of this transformation you're going through, I see a gift coming in from the universe. I see a new beginning coming in. Yeah, because you're detaching from whatever this is that's stagnant and not moving forward. You're 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 detaching from it because it triggers you. There's this harmony here. There's arguing, fussing, fighting. You and this person do not see eye to eye. You want to do things one way. Your person wants to do things their way. And something about this whole thing just triggers you. I feel like in the past, you tried to be strong with this strength card. Could be dealing with the uh, Leo. With this queen of wands and the strength card here. You you tried to be strong and continue on as, in this union. You tried to tame yourself. You tried to dumb down to be to satisfy this person to keep balance in this union to balance things out but i feel like deep down inside emotionally <clears throat> you want to um you want to move on from this this union why are you still balancing this union yeah see it's like you're facing the truth you you are taking your mask off you're realizing like <clears throat> You want something that's sta stable, that's harmonious. See, you were wearing a mask, not showing this person how you truly feel, not expressing yourself. You were just closed off, guarded, blocking your heart. And you want to go through something harmonious. For some of you, you could have been balancing this union out for the sake of children. I do see children here. Could be dealing with a Leo, Sagittarius, or um, an Aries. You want to start over. Oh, yeah. I feel like you have new beginnings. Uh, the ace of air, the ace of fire. You want to have a new passionate beginning. And I feel like you want to have a conversation with this person. And you're going to let this person know. You're going to tell them the truth. And tell them that you want to move on. You want something different. You want some type of change. But with this courage down here, Leo's energy is going to require you to have strength and courage to tell this person, to, to give this person this message. And it will not happen until you have this aha moment, an epiphany, some type of breakthrough. When your transformation is complete, <clears throat> you fear moving on from this person. You fear making this decision. You fear moving on from this person. You fear that your intuition you fear not listening to your intuition because you know that you will be stuck if you don't. For some of you, you're hoping. Let me see, why is the justice card here? Okay. Yeah, I feel like this, this reading is for the divine feminine. I feel like some of you are married to this person with this contracts and commitment. You fear walking away or divorcing this person. You hope that if you divorce this person, it doesn't cause some type of debt or financial hardship. That's what I'm getting. Like, you are hoping that this person doesn't take you for all of your money or something like that. Or <clears throat> try to get child support or something. I'm hearing something about child support. Yeah, here we are again. Karma. Balance. It's like you want your finances to be balanced. You want to be balanced. You're hoping for balance and peace if you release yourself from this person. But you want balance financially you want balance emotionally some of you may cling to this person or you feel like you're clinging to this person because this this is your comfort zone but i feel i see you yeah you're coming out of it separation some of you are going to start separating yourself you're making a decision to separate yourself from this person because for some of you, this person does not own up to what they do or, or what they say. 
they avoid conversations and you're just like making a decision to leave a stalemate union something that is not growing it's not promoting your growth yeah and what was once something like solid and structured <clears throat> has crumbled and you're staying in the present moment and because of you staying in this present moment you want a new beginning somewhere else some of you may break free from this person during the fall season yeah because this is lacking it's lacking emotion lacking finance so financial stability something here is lacking and it's causing you to feel triggered it's causing you to feel vulnerable it's causing you to feel alone and it's like you may have been you may have you may be holding on to this person because you've known them or you've been with them for a long time they're part of your history but that's just it this is your his story and you're ready to create something new you're ready to go off into the world and present yourself to the world you're ready to distance yourself from this person i feel like this cycle is coming to a completion i see an end to, the, to a union here I feel like it took a long time for you to get to this place, but because you are going through this transformation, this is like an, a, spir a spiritual awakening that's taking place, okay? You are having breakthroughs. You are freeing yourself from something or someone that no longer serves your highest purpose, okay? So I'm going to leave it at that. Cancers, happy birthday. Congratulations on your transformation comment in the comment section below let me know if this is your story share like subscribe hit the notification bell be safe i am sending you love light peace and healing energy thanks so much for watching enjoy the rest of your week and i will see you next time peace